the advent of cinema in the Philippines. During the last decade of the 19th century in 1896, a Spaniard by the name of Partiera prepared to launch its first movie show in Manila at Christmas time. The venue was to be at Salon de Partiera, which is published nine months earlier as the Ponograph Parlor on the ground floor of the Casino Español at Calle Perez of the Scorpa. But for some reasons, Partiera failed to make his presentation despite several published announcements to this effect. The show kept being postponed until the new year. Finally, on January 1, 1997, the first foreign minister in the United States, the doctor, and the Greek the opera were shown by a 15 millimeter bamboo from a photograph projector at the Salon de Partiera, Mother Service Club. The arrival of Romeo's cinematography. Antonio Ramos, a Spanish soldier from Alhama de Aragon who had arrived earlier in the year with the Hunter's Battalion, which had been sent to quell Philippine Revolution, was able to import a Lumiere cinematography from Paris. With it, he bought 30 film titles. He did the acquisition with his savings and evidently with the financial backing of Liebman and Paris. By August 1897, Piedman and Peritz presented the first movies on the Lumio Cinematography in Manila. The new scene was set up at Scolpa, Corner San Jacinto, the hall formerly occupied by the Yulman Jewelry Shop. A test preview was presented to a limited number of guests on August 28. The inaugural show was presented to the general public the next day, August 29, 1897. The first movie shot in the Philippines. Impelled desperately to attract patronage and as a matter of survival, Ramos using the Lumiere as a camera locally themed Manila landscape, Chiapa Fiesta, Beach of Spain, and Steve Queen in 1898. Antonio Ramos thus became the first motion picture producer in the Philippines. The establishment of movie houses. The film show was not the same as the 1900. The man who opened the first hall exclusively for movie viewing that year was a British name Wildra, who naturally called his establishment Team Wildra, located at No. 60 Calle Santa Rosa in Santa The second movie house was opened in 1980 by a Spanish entrepreneur, Samuel Barber, who called his building Gran Cinematografo Parisien, located at No. 60 Calle Crespo Quiato. Rock the painter, set up the first Filipino on movie theater. The cinematographer Rizal, this was located on Asparado Street in front of the Tuban train station. First feature film produced in the Philippines. The first story film made in the Philippines called Rose of the Philippines may have been produced on location in Manila in 1909 by the IMP company, Carlinial's Independent Moving Picture Company, out of which grew the Universal Pictures Corporation. Some film historians dispute this contending, it must have been a slideshow. But the IMP released a 760-foot film, 8 minutes screening time in the U.S. theaters in January 1910. When it was released in Manila in 1911, Rose of the Philippines was advertised in the Manila Times as Among the first films produced locally, a dramatic story from the base of the empire. The first film with sound The first picture with sound reached Manila in 1910 using a chronicle. But remember, the silent movies were never shown in silence starting with the first show in 1897. There was always a gramophone, a piano, or a quartet, or when Cabrera was shown at the Manila Grand Opera House at 200 man quiet. The government established the Board of Censors for Cinematographic Films in 1912. It was in constant operation until it was superseded with the Board of Censorship for Moving Pictures in 1929. This is now the Movie and Television Review and Classification Board, MPRC. The owner of having made the very first trophy properly belongs to Jose Nepomuceno. His film, Ponyan Lang Pinto, Golden Dagger, which premiered on March 9, 
1933 at the Lyric Theater Theater was credited as the first completely sound movie to all talking picture. The first color film in the Philippines During the fifth decade of the 20th century, Filipinos also made Teen Hollywood's first full-length feature in living technicolor. Filipino local producers presented to. During this period, their own full-length feature in color and one of which was Principe Amante. The creation of the Film Academy Realizing the importance and the contributory value of the movie industry to the government and to have a closer supervision and extend the much needed assistance to the industry, a presidential decree was issued creating the Film Academy of the Philippines. Under its umbrella are the different organizations and guilds of the industry's working forces to meet. Mawal Fund, Movie Welfare Fund, KATP, Katipunan ng mga artista ng pelikulang Pilipino, KDTP, kapisana ng mga direktor ng pelikulang Pilipino, DGTI, Directors Guild of the Philippines Incorporation, SGT, Screenwriters Guild of the Philippines, FEGMP, Film Editors Guild for Motion Pictures, CDGT, Production Designers Guild of the Philippines, TAM, Sound Technicians Association for Motion Pictures. 8. Relationship between books and films. The novel and the film both tell a story. But they are drastically different mediums. There are always challenges in adapting a novel to film, and it takes a skilled screenwriter to be able to keep the essence of the source in the visual storytelling process. People love books because of the purity and rawness of how the stories are told. We readers hang on to every word, every exclamation point, and every question mark in order for us to imagine a real world concocted in novels. But in film, the way stories are told is not by letters and pages. Instead, movies offer us a visual experience. Films tell stories by making us watch and see. Literature in film has a lot of relationship. Some books become more alive when it's adapted into movies. Example of this is The Lord of the Rings. However, not everyone is a fan when it comes to movie adaptation. Some are hits, most complete reasons. When you read a good book, you're always a little nervous to go see the big skin version. Many fans were disappointed with the film version of Elizabeth Gilbert's Eat, Pray, Love, and others were outraged when Tom Cruise was cast as Jack Reacher in the film version of the Lee Child novel. In the Philippines, making movie adaptation of beloved Wattpad stories is slowly becoming a trend. Many fans of the Wattpad novel were outraged when they found out that Derek Cathy Molina changed the time setting of the story. Instead of the story's 2010 setting, she changed it to the 70s. Many fans ridiculated Daniel Padilla's character's look, saying that he looked like an albulario and not a gangster. Reading is mostly a personal, fragmented, and time-consuming activity. Movies, on the other hand, tend to be more communal, non-stop, and very longer than an hour or two. Said by Modin Tales, an internet blogger. To draw a comparison, think of these two art forms as drugs. If books were joints, movies would most certainly be heroine. Film is instantaneous. You walk into a movie theater and get it shot straight into your bloodstream. Takes about 2 hours, books take longer. In the end, though the results are the same, cutters use comfort, escapism, entertainment. 
From the internet blogger again, she states that the two art forms can be compared to drugs. Characteristics of books that makes it a perfect pair film. To read a good story is amazing. You penetrate into a book imagining actions, characters, and you envision whatever is happening in the story. You forget absolutely everything and just become a part of the world you are reading. You eat word by word and create unreal situations in your mind. Books are perhaps the most underrated mass media. Not everyone likes reading books. They will simply say, I am more of a movie fan, but more often than not, your favorite movies are based or adapted from books. That is why, we will be counting down the characteristics of books that make it a perfect pair in The fans of the Nobel series call themselves Potterheads, and those Potterheads, already huge fans of the book, are willing to spend their money to watch all the adaptations of the novels. The novels were already exceptional, bordering and epic, but once the movie adaptations were made, our imaginations become reality. With films, we can properly envision how Harry can fly on his broomstick. watching a bunch of John Hodges movies. We can also learn more about the medieval times if only we know which books to read. Both books and films offer us a glimpse of the history. They say that when we open a book, we open doors. But with films, you watch a movie, you become a part of a whole new world. Books and films have been best friends since movie producers discovered that they can cash in more if they make movie adaptations of the most beloved novels. Popular film genres in the film Comedy A light-hearted plot consistently and deliberately designed to amuse and provoke laughter by exaggerating the situation, the language, action, relationships, and characters. This section describes various forms of comedy The 2013 film Burry Boy Backlash All Boys is the highest speed in the in the country. It is a comedy parody film produced by Spice Pina and Eva Film starring by Vietnam. Ganda also stars in his other comedy films 
Sisteraas, and the Uncabogable Private Benjamin. The comedy films mentioned are very popular in the Philippines. However, amid the funny scenes in the movie, the ending of the stories are often emotional and dramatic. This movie genre's target audience are the families. Romantic comedy are films with light-hearted humorous plot lines centered on romantic ideals such as the true love is able to surmount most obstacles. One dictionary definition is a funny movie, play, or television program about a love story that ends happily. Another definition states that its primary distinguishing feature is a love plot in which two sympathetic and well-matched lovers are united or reconciled. Starting Over Again is a Filipino romantic comedy film directed by Olivia M. Lamashan starring Fiona Pascual and Tony Gonzaga. It is the second highest grossing film in the Philippines. Rom-coms often deals with telling love stories in a comedic way. But in Starting Over Again, even if it is categorized as rom-com, it still tells the story in an emotional and dramatic way. But more often than not, most romantic comedy films end with a happily ever after. Fantasy Comedy A type of film that uses magic or supernatural mythological figures for comic purposes. Most fantasy comedy includes an element of parody or satire, turning many of the fantasy conventions to joy and happiness. There are also films about ghosts or angels who either become someone's guardian and helper, or who torment someone committed thief from the other side. A great example of this genre is the Enting Cabisote film series. The film franchise revolves around Enting Cabisote, an ordinary man who is married to a fairy. The film franchise has multiple sequels including a movie that enabled the Enting Cabisote world to converge with another fantasy film entitled Agina. The plot of these fantasy comedy films is usually about saving the world from evil antagonists. The enemies are usually not very clever that results to a happy ending for the protagonist. In the Philippines, it is not very surprising if another Enting Cabisote film will be an entry in the annual Metro Manila Film Festival. Other popular movie genres in the Philippines are horror films often deal with the viewer's nightmares, hidden fears, revulsions, and terror of the unknown. Plots within the horror genre often involve the inclusions of an evil force, event, or personage, commonly of supernatural origin into the everyday world. Prevalent elements include ghosts, aliens, vampires, werewolves, demons, gore, torture, vicious animals, evil witches, monsters, zombies, cannibals, and serial killers. Conversely, movies about the supernatural are not necessarily all the same. A great example of this type of genre is the Shrek Tatum and Girl film, franchise who already has had multiple sequels. The mentioned movie genres are the most popular among the Filipinos. There may be other film genres that occasionally pop into mainstream media, but comedy, rom-coms, fantasy comedy, and horror receive the most patronage in the Philippines.